Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to today's tutorial. Today's tutorial will be a basic tutorial on how to make a dark RP server. Enjoy and leave a like in the comment. Or leave a like and a comment. See you guys in the tutorial. Let's do this. So first off, we're gonna need to open up our browser, and then we're gonna need to open up a page, and you could just search dark RP. Which let me just do this here. Dark, ugh, fail. Dark RP. Now let's wait for the load here, and then you should find Dark RP official Dark RP wiki. We're gonna open up that. Then we're going to, <sighs> Lord, it's already opened up on a page here. Um, just click, just click main page. I'll have, I'll probably have a link in the description. If I don't, that's all my fault. So yeah, you want to head to this page and you're going to click on updating customized dark RP. And then you're going to want to copy this copy shortcut. And then you're going to head over to tortoise SVN. Which the link will be in this provided in the description too. Now these are ads. Don't go to the ads. Go to this page and then click downloads. Link in, is in the description. And do you want to find your if you're either using a 32-bit um, OS or a 64-bit OS? By finding that out, you click. Let's let's move the screen over here. You click the start here and then click left click on. I mean right click on computer and click properties. And then, as you see, I have 4 gigabyte RAM, and I have a 64-bit computer. As you see, 64-bit operating system. So, yeah, we can close out of that. So, download 64-bit, run it, and then you're done with Tortoise FEN. Then, we're going to close out of this. I'm going to minimize it for multiple reasons. Then, we're going to make a new folder on our desktop. Let's say we want to call it... Dark RP. There you go. Dark RP. So, let me just. Just do this. Name it this. Like that. Just for multiple reasons. I'll tell you later. So, yeah. Then, you're going to left click on the folder. And if you have successfully installed Tortoise SVN, you should have something called SVN Checkout. You're going to click on that. And then here, the checkout, this link is where we're going to put that link that we put, that we copied off the wiki. So once you put that, click OK. And then it's going to take a little to do this, and it's going to install the game mode, pretty much. So I'll be back when this is done. When it's completed, it should have on the bottom here, complete it at revision and whatever it says there. You just click OK. And then you have a folder, a dark RP folder, which is practically the game mode. Now, this is how to get dark RP on your Gmod. Yes, that's true. But there's other videos how to get it on your server. This is just how to get the game mode dark RP on your original just dark RP, your Gmod. Like Trouble in Terrorist Town game mode. So, we're just going to close out of this list. We have that installed now. And then we're going to go over here. And to our start, click start, computer, wherever you have your Gmod game stored. Mine is in program, um, program files 86. Most computers are here, and then Steam, um, Steam apps, common, Gary's Mod, Gary's Mod. And then uh, in the game modes folder, you're going to drag the Dark RP server in there. As here, I already have it. I'm going to delete it. Voila, it's gone. Let me just let it delete that. And then we're going to drag the new Dark RP in here. So, then you start up your Gmod, and then you pretty much got it. I'll show you um, some, a cool future once I get this server started up. BR. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, but when I said um I have a cool thing for you 
I was just gonna give you pre-made ranks, but sadly they're not really working at the moment. So yeah, thanks for watching. This is the end of the video, and see you guys later. Bye.